Western Mass News is your school authority. Despite the high risk warning of COVID-19 in the city of Holyoke, the Diocese of Springfield is opening up two Catholic schools in Holyoke for full in-person learning. Western Mass News reporter Lindsay Kane is live in Holyoke with more. Lindsay. Beth, Mater Dolorosa and Blessed Sacrament will have students back inside their classrooms in just a few weeks. While school officials stand by their decision, some health experts say these schools should look at their town's warnings. The state's new tracking system for COVID-19 hotspots shows the city of Holyoke in the red zone, an extremely high risk category for COVID-19. While the city's public schools decided this week to change from a hybrid learning model to remote learning, the Diocese of Springfield is moving forward with in-person classes, including in two of their Catholic schools in Holyoke. But superintendent of Catholic schools in the Diocese of Springfield tells Western Mass News over the phone that they have their eyes on the city's case data. If we see in our schools any sort of uptick or any sort of, you know, anything that's an indicator that we need to we need to pause or we need to go to remote or we need to, to handle it differently, we will. But at this point, none of the indicators really, for us, um, clearly, clearly show us that we can't safely reopen our schools at this particular point. The superintendent says because of their school's small size, social distance, mask wearing and cleaning protocols, they feel they can safely reopen their doors. A decision Maureen Donnellan, the principal of Mater de la Rosa School, says was difficult. In our hearts of hearts, we know as educators that children need to be in school. They need to be learning, and the best way is with their teacher and not remotely. She says the staff have been holding meetings regarding the high risk factor in Holyoke, but they are standing by their decision to open for in-person learning. We're trying to, to think you know, forward and hope that it's going to go back to yellow, but we're keeping communications open and it's you know, something that's definitely a consideration, but I don't think it's going to be a problem for us. The superintendent says they have students from all over the area. While some may live in Holyoke, others don't. But Dr. Erica Hamilton in the microbiology department at UMass Amherst says it's a complicated situation. If you are a private school and you are in a town that has a low incidence of COVID, but you have a number of students coming from a town that has a high incidence, is it really a good thing for you to be open? She says the protocols from the state should be universal for all schools. The regulations for the public schools, the, the private schools should probably be looking at those as well and really paying attention to what the, these public health warnings are, are saying. But Donnellan says they believe they are on the right track. I just hope parents trust us um, and we are constantly communicating within the diocese about what's best for the kids. Here in Holyoke, Mater de la Rosa's first day of school is August 31st and Blessed Sacrament on September 8th. Live in Holyoke, Lindsay Kane, Western Mass News.